What's up guys? It is a Friday, another update video. I want to apologize for the lack of videos this week. I don't think I had a single video out throughout the week. Uh, just kind of really busy in real life and then um, with uh, the updates sort of, you know, focusing on that. But should have some more update videos soon. Or not update videos, but just normal videos, interesting videos, you know, good ones. I was going to record a Bankbusters on Monday, but I just did not get around to it the entire week. Um, today pretty much is the first day I've had to like actually breathe and I say breathe but I mean I had to code the entire day right now is the first chance I get to breathe <sighs> all right but let's do it anyway so donated ranks have been fixed if you uh, if you log in and you already donated like you already have amount spent do colon colon update rank just like this update rank like that and it'll automatically update or you know if you use a bond it'll up update automatically that way as well so then let's get in with the update. Dagonoth Kings will now respawn correctly. It's the exact same time as old school. It's the same time that Rune Light is going to give you. That way it's, you know, it's a lot more correct. Um, the idea of it being shorter makes sense for like maxed accounts that can crush them all. But realistically, that's not going to apply to a lot of people. And it just makes the most sense for it to be exactly like RuneScape, right? So that way there's no funny business. And then if the future we think it needs to be different, then, then we can do so. But for now, it's fixed and it's correct to old school. Um, the same thing applies to the Kingback Dragon, which is actually the other way around. The Kingback Dragon on the server respawned too slow, whereas on old school it respawned quickly. And now that that's fixed, that's the case. So it should respawn much faster. KBD should be, they should all be better, really. If you've done DKs, um, at least as a noob account, like a, a mid-tier account, you know, you, it, having them not spawn so quickly is going to help you. So this should hopefully be an improvement overall. You can now steal from ham members, and a ham teleport was added. The Dark Crystal Amulet was fixed. It uh, had plus 6 range bonus. So that's been corrected, and now it is now plus 10. And then you should also be able to... I don't know why I thought that, that would take my amulet off. You should also be able to rub it, and it has the teleports. I'm not 1,000% sure how to get the rub option there, which would obviously be what you would want. Um, working on that, but at least you have that teleport now. Some clue NPCs uh, should stay closer to where they're at, uh, specifically the ones from the Faldor party room, hopefully. I don't know, I might have to relook at that because some of their spawns are weird. Uh, then Rusty should no longer be aggressive. Rusty is the NPC north of Faldor that's only used for clues. You can now eat kebabs. The amount of experience you get when creating 100 corrupt Redwoods logs at the same time uh, is now fixed. It used to be, it was just broken. It didn't give the correct amount of experience at all. Now it does, so. Rip to everybody, and myself included, that that unfortunately lost out on that XP. So new things were added to the donator store, including a cannon, which we'll talk about in a brief moment. The infinite stew. This is like a imbued heart. Think of it that way, but it heals you, and it is on a much shorter timer. So you basically have an infinite amount of food. I believe it's 15, uh, and it, I think it's on a timer could maybe be balanced a little bit better but again you got to remember this is something like let's say you, you went to you, you're doing the infernal this is something that's you know you're, you're gonna bring with you you're anywhere you camp and you're gonna you're gonna want this bad boy and then also remember every single thing that ever gets added to the donator shop is going to be available in mystery boxes and elite mystery boxes so the cannon the stew and then these three right here were added as well uh, i'll go over these ones right now so these are basically you're just just melee combat starter sets kind of exactly what you'd think it'd be gives void and rapier gives you kind of this full setup right here with a little bit of combat pots and then the magic one is similar with ivan's staff you can see kind of some differences and then the range one which we don't have enough space and the range one so yeah, you get 3,000 black gin chops with this one and some uh, dragstone bolts. I don't know if I mentioned in the magic one, but you got a rune, a uh, large rune pack as well. So uh, yeah, just kind of a nice, you know, nothing broken. No, uh, there's nothing really like that's level locked. Obviously you do need 73 hunter to catch these, but it's not like that's, it's not like it's going to change combat in any way or, or break the game or, or anything like that. At least that was the hope, right? And then Ivan's staff is was also added uh, normally. It is added to the Adventure Point shop, which we will go over now because the cannon is also in the Adventure Point shop. You have the cannon for 20,000 points and then the Ivan's staff for 1,500. So cannon is definitely like the big daddy of the Adventure Point shop. It is the item that you're going to go for uh, for quite a while. It's kind of like the rapier from Revival 1. 
the odds of receiving rare items from the chambers of Zarek has improved. So I don't want to give you the exact number because then it'll make it easy to... Well, I mean, I might give you the exact number eventually, but basically it's about 35% better. So it should hopefully be a lot better. Um, let's say you got 50,000 points. You'd be looking at like a one in six chance at getting a loot. Probably a little bit more, probably one in five, maybe. I, I don't know, but it should be better. It should be a lot better. Um, we'll see. Obviously, Xerix is a lot of effort. It's a lot of a commitment. It's 40 minutes doing a lot of activities, including a big boss at the end. So it needs to be rewarding. Not a whole lot of people even want to do it. I've, I only know of like a handful. Like, I only know of one real raiding team that does it. But eventually, we'll do masses, and we'll, we'll you know, we'll see. So then the next thing is uh, the max cape now requires 99 inventions. So there was kind of some leeway when invention first came out to let people use their max capes. Uh, now that's gone. You do need invention to wear your max cape again. Uh, the component cost for making magic oysters has been reduced. And then you also have the examine thing. If you if you remember from my last update video, I, the examine thing didn't work. I, it was a really stupid reason why it didn't, but that's fixed and added. So you can see it's now 20,000 lucky and 3,000 crystal. Before, it was 30,000 lucky and 5,000 crystal. So it should hopefully be a lot better, a little bit more balanced. You should be able to actually make some more of these things and actually use them. And more, and really even want to use them, you know couple balance changes. The mirror shield now costs 30,000 coins in the Slayer Point Shop. The dark light now costs 150 coins, 150,000 coins in the Achievement Reward Shop. Some packs that gave uh, a thousand... We, we, we made a change last update where item packs gave you 1,000 instead of 100. And there were certain items where that was just kind of overpowered. Uh, an example would be... Not really overpowered, but just odd balanced. Uh, and broad bolts are an example of that, so those have been fixed and similar items like that. And then um, another one that was really now this one was really overpowered was the Amelaze Crystal Pack, gave a thousand, and now it only gives a hundred. You can now use commands in the wilderness if you are below level twenty. So I oh yeah that would work I'm done. So before if you try to use command in the wilderness and say that command does not work here the logic behind that was it was wanting you to use these spells which originally required runes, but that's just you know we just removed all that and it's pointless now so should be a lot smoother you can actually you know I, I don't know if it's I always teleport to NE that's where I almost always teleport instead of home or anything it's always NE so uh, I imagine a lot of people will want to do that. The daily task system has been improved. So, if we... I thought it was tasks, but I guess it's tasks. So, if you'll notice that none of the things here are... Uh, are like Well, none of the things you can get assigned are locked behind Slayer requirements. It used to just give you, like, it would give you Kraken at one Slayer. So, that's obviously not good. And then all PvP tasks have been removed. Nobody wants to do PvP. It's just never going to happen. I think the only time anybody ever actually did those kills was just cheating and, like, having a person, you know, die to you for free. So... Why even bother, right? We'll just remove that. Uh, eventually, I'd like to do a lot more improvements to the system, including skilling tasks, stuff like that. But, you know, right now, I'm just trying to take a, you know, s take a swing at it every update, basically. You do also get your points now, uh, the daily task points. You There's nothing to spend them on at this moment, but you'll at least collect them now. I figured I, figured, I figured I might as well make that functional. So, you know, the next update, when we add something to spend your points on, you at least could potentially have earned, you know, three points a day. I believe that's what it would be. And then uh, the big daddy, as we saw, uh, the dwarf's cannon. Do I not? Ha I don't have one. But dwarf's cannon is added. It func it's functional. Um, the only thing I will note is that make sure you log out. Uh, you have the cannon in inventory when you log out. Uh, it doesn't let you log out right now anyways, but just make sure you have the cannon so you don't lose it. Uh, you know, that's that's really the, the key to the cannon is, like, making sure you don't lose it in any weird ways. And then it's not... I don't think it's going to be overpowered. I mean, it it could be. We'll see. But my main concern is just making sure there's no bugs with it glitching out and people losing it. So if anything like, thing like that happens, just please report it. And also understand that, you know, it's a weird item. It's, a, it's something I never had on any of my servers. We had it kind of working on Revival 1, but just never... I never really wanted to add it. This server kind of makes more sense because it's a lot more old school themed. And old school is kind of like a lot of content is kind of just designed around wanting a can. I mean, like off the top of my head, smoke devils are going to be really nice. Um, if you 
try to do you know guards for clues that's probably gonna be a little bit better i mean it's it's gonna be nice it's to see exactly where and how it comes into play you know it's gonna be tough obviously it's twenty thousand adventure points so it's gonna be a long time before i even get one um you know you gotta remember i'm a legit player and i'm earning myself so if you're watching my master series you'll see me you know work towards that as well but uh you know it should be interesting we'll see how it goes again if you have any problems with it so let me know uh the mold for it is in the mother loan mine shop right here a couple new things have been added to the donut zone the bob barter guy has been moved here you'll see why in a moment a uh, spinning wheel has been added here so this is a nice place for i didn't move objects over well there would be a spinning wheel here if i didn't forget to move objects just pretend spinning wheel right here. I was so excited about this because, like, this was one of the things that I actually wanted to take advantage of myself. Uh, rats. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll do, uh, you know, I'll get that back. I'll probably get that back tonight when the server's chilling in or something. Ah, fuck it. Fun times. Anyway, sand work pack, sand worm packs have been added to the fishing shop. I already talked about the ham hideout and the Narda teleport. I suppose we'll use the Narda teleport. Neo, hotspots, Narda. So if you go to Narda, you'll have Zahir. Zahir is here now. Can clean your herbs and make unfinished potions for you. Does charge money. Is this another thing I did? Um, we're gonna have to fucking update the server. I didn't. Why? Why? Why wouldn't this one... Why? Why? Is it just because I didn't have money? Maybe it's just because I don't have money. Oh, you know what? I think we're fine. We're fine. I think it's good. I think it's working. I hope it's working. If it's not working, kill yourself. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'll oh, just kid. Don't do that. I love you. Don't do that. Anyways, uh, so the... <laughs> The, the, the last the last bit of this video update days are hard days to make videos because like my my entire day i woke up at, at 4 a.m because i just couldn't sleep i woke up at 4 a.m and since 4 a.m till 4 50 p.m now for 12 hours i've been working on the server i did go to the gym and take random breaks here and there but it's basically been revival coding all day so i've just my brain is dead uh, and then the last thing I want to talk about for the update is uh, whenever you get a 99, it'll now show if you're a knight or master. Same with a 200 mil. So obviously, I, can't, I guess I can't really, you know. If, uh, it'd be great if somebody just got a 99 right now. But it just it just says, like, as a knight or as a master at the end. So now, now you get more recognition for being cool. And then some uh, items were added to the disassemble list. Death talismans and abyssal whips now disassemble for dark opponents. Abyssal whips obviously are already disappointed, uh, disassembled for dark opponents, but now it's more. Uh, light dark tuxedo pieces uh, disassemble for lucky components. Bandos, armadale, ancient plate skirts should disassemble for lucky components. Heavy casket, musketeer pieces, dragon cane, briefcase, and pith helmet all should disassemble for lucky components. There's a lot of lucky stuff that still needs to be added to the list. Uh, I'll get to it. Working on it. Dragon boots now give more components. Curask heads give rare components. Leaf bladed uh, axes give more components. Leaf bladed swords now give uber components. And then mirror shields give a little bit more uber components. That is it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you tomorrow. Good videos coming very very soon. I'll have some. I'll have a. I'll, I'll have like a, a a more personal update video out tomorrow, and then I'll have some other stuff out. Um, immediately afterwards so should have some good videos this coming up week I, dude i can't talk man can't talk brain dead bye